Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Martin and today I'm going to show you absolutely amazing technique on how to create outstanding black and white images. I'm going to show you the technique I'm using. Uh, it's not about Photoshop conversion. You will see how to have full control on black and white image, how to work uh, separately on each specific area, which leads you to absolutely amazing results. So I have this image in front of me. This image is the part of the course I've done, Photoshop for Photographers. If you're interested, link in the description, link on black and white course as well. And now we're gonna start with this. I'm going to show you the image before. This is the image at the moment, and it's already after all of the retouching process. But what you can see right now it's still not black and white and the reason for that is because i'm doing this at the very end of each retouching process so what we're going to do we are going to do conversion at the very end and i will explain you why while we'll be doing this. So I'm just going to remove the noise that I applied to this image and the reason is because noise you always want to apply at the very end. And once your image is ready and retouched in Photoshop, I'm going to create a stamp on the top. So I'm pressing Command, Option, Shift and E or Control, Alt, Shift and E if you're working on Windows. I'm going to name this BW like black and white and of course you can do the black and white conversion before but what you will lose if you will do conversion before is you will lose the flexibility of working you will lose the possibility to achieve absolutely creative and amazing results once you did this we're going to convert this layer into a smart object. You want to work with object all the time. Why? Because you want to have control over your effect. You want to work non-destructive. So once you apply effect, when you work with the smart object, you can invert this anytime. You can change your settings as well. And then let's go to filter and camera raw filter. Yes, that is correct. I'm doing my black and white conversion at the very end using camera raw. Why am I doing so? First of all, it's very important to see the image, how it is uh, without black and white conversion. So when you clean up the image, when you do dash and burn, after all, you want to see how the image looks like in color. There's absolutely no reason you could have to do this before. Also, uh, you might bring up visibility of each color on this image in Photoshop. And why is it so important? Because at the very end, you can work and use each of this specific color that you set up before for your black and white purposes. And I'm going to show you how. We are going to the fourth panel called Hue Saturation Luminance slash Grayscale. So what we are interested in, we want to convert this to the grayscale. And now you have similar sliders as you would have in Photoshop in your black and white effect. But why camera raw is superior? Because you can also use different settings uh, later on to achieve what you want to get. So we have the red, for example, and you are deciding on your own where you want to get with your red, with your orange, with your yellow, with your blue, you might get it dramatic and dark if you want, or you might get it very bright. I would go with something dark and dramatic here. Uh, about orange, uh, will I get that dark? No, maybe not. Maybe not as much dramatic, but uh, still um, rather dramatic. How about greens? I would bring this up just a little bit. And as you can see, a few simple steps, we adjusting each of this specific color. And after that, I, I'm going to the basic panel, and I want to increase the contrast, but as I'm increasing contrast, I don't want to lose all of the shadows. So I'm going up with the shadows a little bit as well. And I might add a little bit of the clarity. Um, and highlights, I think they're already strong. There is no reason for me to add a lot of highlights. So as you can see, this is just few simple steps. Let's hit OK. What I'm going to do, I'm going to desaturate 
one layer just to show you the difference about the conversion. So this is the basic black and white effect if you would like to apply before. And this is the effect after this few simple steps in camera. So you see how powerful it is and how many different possibilities in your black and white conversion it is giving you. So let's take the example of the other image right now and we're going to do exactly the same thing uh, with different colors and maybe a little bit different outcome in this. This time I'm trying to be a little bit more precise. So we are creating a stamp. I'm gonna call this BW again and convert to smart object. It takes a while because it's big files, a lot of layers. It was already, um, retouch of course was already done. Um, so this image looks uh, slightly different and the file size is also slightly um, different than the other image. Okay, and go to filter, camera raw filter. And of course we are going to start from the grayscale. So what I want to do this time in red, I want this shiny, I want this visible, I want this dramatic. Let's see about orange. I don't think I want that much orange, maybe a little darker. Uh, do we have another color? Let's see if we have, uh, we have some green, we have some yellow, so not so much of the color, but maybe yellow. Maybe we can go more with this. Look, have a look. We don't want to have it washed out like this. Let's go up with yellow a little. Let's go up with greens, more of the reds, and down with the oranges. And then basic panel, more contrast for sure. Let's add contrast. Let's add some of the clarity. Uh, don't be afraid of contrast. The black and white should be strong. Uh, should have really huge contrast and I did one black and white uh, work which exactly was in this atmosphere. Simple steps as you can see nothing really complicated here and let's see how does it looks like compared to regular black and white effect. Let's have a look. This is regular black and white and this is the one we created as a super contrast. Do I like it? Maybe it has a little bit too much details right now. Don't worry about this because you can come back to the camera row. I'm gonna decrease some of the reds. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm gonna decrease some of the contrast, decrease some of the clarity as well. And let's have a look now. And now, I believe our effect, our image looks really detailed, really contrasty, just as this image supposed to look. So thank you for watching this short video on how to convert your images to black and white. I'm doing this as a last step and I recommend you doing this as a last step because at the end you always can come back, you always can fix it and you always can have this amazing flexibility. Thank you for watching and see you soon in another Photoshop tutorial.